Hello everyone, welcome back. The last time we found a secret, a secret, well, the secret hideout in our own house's garage, and we also found a three notice boat leading to three mysteries of the sea anomaly inside the ocean. Oh, thank you. One for the cult and one for a project white Medusa. But today. We are gonna go and well, well, it's kind of 16. Soon gonna be night time. I don't know what we are doing right now with the projector. Anyway, let's go to the bedroom because we are gonna go to sleep. I have some tapes that I want to listen to. The former owner had to do a lot of tinkering to screw up such a mess. Oh, yes. Or I'm in back in my bedroom. But first, I'm gonna listen to some tapes. So there are a couple of tapes that I can listen to. Let's just start. Let's just go through them. One, two. One, two. That works? Okay. Damn machine. And I'm finally starting to understand what's going on here with the electricity. A priori. Everything revolves around the lighthouse. I consulted many old newspapers, and the Village Gazette told me that St. Exa was very poorly served by electricity and regularly suffered severe power cuts. I knew that it was a very isolated village, which is what makes it so charming, but I hadn't thought of that. Half of the articles in the Gazette are devoted to the inhabitants who, tired of the cuts, ended up installing small wind turbines for their homes. The other half is about the lighthouse, and that's where it gets... Interesting. I read that the mayor of the village had installed underwater turbines connected to the building, which are capable of producing electricity thanks to the movement of the sea. This has enabled the village to gain autonomy and to overcome the failures of the general electrical network. Anyway, I, I think it would be worth going to take a look at the lighthouse. Because if the turbine system is damaged, it could explain why some electrical equipment is out of order while others are still working. I'll tell you what I found. Okay. Interesting. Uh, to the ghost. Fourth day that I'm stuck. I'm not going to make it, Peter. They terrify me. I don't know what to do. They hunt me like an animal. They have taken on a human form, but there is nothing human about them. They come out of nowhere without you expecting it and materialize in a kind of elusive black vapor. I can't do anything against them. I don't know how to fight them. I found a weapon, but I'm, I'm struggling to use it, and I'm, I'm always out of bullets. There's even more of them at night. They swarm like cockroaches. I have to shut myself up at home as soon as night falls. And they prevent me from leaving this cursed village, Pierre. As soon as I try to leave St. Exel, they arrive by the thousands and they, they get me. If they catch me, I wake up in my bed and it's been hours, maybe even a whole day. I'm their prisoner. Okay, that was some heavy stuff. Whoever this peer is, he is missing out on a lot. I would like to tell you about the bracelet you gave me right after we arrived here. You found that gem on the beach and crafted it into this beautiful piece of jewelry. You told me that you felt that this pebble had something special, that it radiated. Well, you were right, you know. He protects me from the monsters I told you about. If I smack it against the ground, it produces a shock wave that violently repels ghosts. Sometimes he can even dissolve them when they attack me. He is so strong that I decided to name him Rocky since it's a rock. <clears throat> but Rocky is also a sensitive guy. 
you know? He doesn't like explosive noises. If I shoot a gun in his ear, he can even start a thunderstorm. At that moment, I, I feel transported to another reality, to another time. Once calm returns, I have the impression that it only lasted a few seconds, whereas about 15 minutes had actually passed. Better to use it sparingly. Sometimes I feel like he's almost alive. He gets lazy at the end of the day, especially if I made him work a lot. But, hey, nothing a good night's sleep can't fix. Anyway, all that to say that he reminds me a bit of you. It's probably silly, but I... I feel like you're watching over me through him. And that helps me hold on. How lovely. Just lovely. Alright, anyway. Recurring dream. <sighs> I can't take this dream anymore. I wake up in this dusty, tunnel-shaped cave. It is essentially made up of some kind of light-absorbing rocks. Like the ones the insides of a planet would create. I go through this hallway and come across the ghosts that haunt me. But this time, they don't try to catch me. There are also military and scientific equipment. I can't tell if they are studying or planning to attack something. A sheet of heavy smoke waits for me at the end, and it's too thick to see behind, and I'm attracted like a moth is to light. The closer I get to the exit, the more I hear ringing, until I realize it's my alarm, and I wake up like nothing happened, and at the same exact hour as usual, 8 a.m. If somebody finds this journal, <laughs> gone nuts apparently, do what you want with that information, or shove it somewhere warm. Alright, so this was the dream at the start of the game. I'll take. And last is the devoted. That's why when we uh, heard that the last time. So we're gonna hit the devoted. Dear people of Saint Exil, this message is for you. I know our local authorities have been breaking their backs. Picturing us as fools. Do not listen to this nonsense. Our actions are dedicated to all of you. Once the day comes, those who denied will finally see the truth with their eyes. The distance shall all be remembered. You are all invited to our next ceremony. This Friday, join us in the writing of birthdays from the departed boat. Let's put the world to right. It's the only way now. So, we have a couple of uh, choices as to what we want to do first. So since I want to keep up with uh, the main objective of finding what happened to our citizens, so I'm going to start with uh, Project Wide Medusa. Nothing. Okay. What else was in here though? There's a couple of barrels, another locker, washing machine. I know that's it. Can I check any of them? Locker? No? Okay. Well, time to go and do Project Wide Medusa. Which one was that? Now this is the unknown signal. Oh yeah, alright. Infiltrating the cell in the heart of the lighthouse made me realize that the French government is very concerned about the development of the situation here in St. Exel. The development of this sect, as well as the growing anomalies observed in the population and nature, are monitored in a sustained manner. They came to realize that if they do not act, this situation will eventually draw the attention of the entire country to St. Exel. I had, in my hands, documents detailing an operation called White Medusa, the purpose of which was to methodically isolate and capture everybody in the village. 
Do they think that the people here are all sick or contaminated with something? Or do they mean to sweep this affair under the rug? They seem to foresee two possible scenarios for carrying out Operation White Medusa. As if by coincidence, there are incidentally two events which attract almost all the population in the same place. The Village Festival, which takes place during a whole weekend, or a fair organized by the village school. I was able to reconstruct on the map the assaults considered in each of these possible scenarios. A large number of troops will be deployed, and they can easily prevent anyone from escaping by blocking the main accesses and roads. They will proceed using heavy trucks and toxic gas to control and direct the crowd toward them. The inhabitants of St. Exel have a Damocles sword over their head, but they don't know of its existence, nor when it will fall. Interesting, interesting. Then I guess we will just take all the tapes. In 1977, an ultra-low frequency sound was picked up by scientists south of the Atlantic Ocean. But no one succeeded in identifying the structural composition of this acoustic phenomenon, and, and many theories were put forward. Spy submarines, human aeronautical activities on the surface, or even tests of explosives resonating through the abyss. The case remained closed for two years until a second sound was recorded 2,000 kilometers from Namibia. This time, the subject worried specialists. The position of the two recordings suggest the movement of something. In 1984, the sound was picked up again, several times around the Bermuda Triangle. Governments in many countries decided to classify all information about this issue as confidential, and the general public was kept away. While tracking other countries' progress, our secret services discovered in 86 that the French government was particularly interested in the matter, and that they put in motion a special program called RORQUIL, a scientific project mainly dedicated to the understanding of unknown oceanic noises. We then decided in 1987, based on what we found in the village of St. Exel, and considering that this last signal was recorded off the coast of French Brittany, that it made perfect sense for me to start our investigation here. During my time, I discovered a platform for listening and monitoring seismic activities at the heart of the lighthouse. Only recently, and thanks to an information trading deal I made with the cult, I got myself recruited there as a maintenance agent. It allowed me to find that the lighthouse crew is, in fact, following the movement of an object which turns out to be a French military submarine. So was it only a submarine that we tracked from the beginning? But its movements are inconsistent. How did it produce this noise that we regularly pick up? I copied a lot of tapes and left them inside the hideout, but they're all still encrypted. I was hoping to get more information from it, but I spotted a car in front of the house tonight, and it's clearer than ever now that my time to leave has come. Okay, so the spy is not from French government, and this whole shit is from French government's fault. And what the hell is the devoted? Where's the tape? Where's the tape? In many areas, the life in St. Exel has deteriorated sharply in recent years. Local studies tend to show that nature has adopted an abnormal behavior. Some species started proliferating more than before, while others suffered the opposite effect. Some animals became aggressive towards humans, and some bird species completely migrated and left the region for good. We've also seen a lot of upheaval in the behavior of inhabitants of the village and their health. Ultimately, it led to many people leaving, which left only the ones who didn't have a choice. A real change is taking place, and, and no one seems to understand where it's coming from. Additionally, these extraordinary happenings have been rumored in the region, which isn't improving the situation. The village 
has become a place of attraction for people bathed in pseudosciences, esoteric and the occult, to say the least. They, they now see this place as a central home to their mythology. One movement eventually took over the others and established itself as the popular cult, the devoted. They managed to obtain this importance by being omnipresent in their protests. They vandalized sites in large areas surrounding the village, which made the local press very keen on showcasing them and ultimately helped a great deal in converting more people to their cause. According to my research, it is governed by a certain Aurora K. I couldn't find a lot of information regarding her, but managed to seal some pictures by following her after a public meeting with the population. She built her movement on the belief in the existence of an abysmal entity which would sow its harmful influence over the region and towards the inhabitants of St. Exel. To, to calm this underwater entity, they tirelessly seek the culprits for this curse. They unearth and send ashore on deteriorating ships coffins containing the bodies of people who have always lived here. If the boat returns and runs aground on the coast, the person and their family are pardoned. I haven't seen it yet. It looks like they've shifted into high gear by sending people who are still alive to sea. These are just rumors, and, and people who go missing may have simply decided to leave the area. They never communicated their plans with me regarding the future of their protest, and I'm not sure where they'll meet yet. My theory is that they'll probably regroup either near the White Manor or the local church. Okay, yeah, that's um, that's a lot. Okay, so all right, um, the church, the White Manor. Okay, two places. The devoted might wanna come together. I go to sleep, and my favorite visit the attic. All right, signal. Also low frequency. Time series. What is the blue? Oh, wait, it's, <laughs> hold on. Is this made out of blue? Okay, anyway. They're abysmal entity. Yeah, they made a submarine of entity. Alright. Okay, so a girl is the leader of this cult. Okay, and Medusa. So there's a lot of threat fights. Something is altering reality. So the government thinks it's something else. People think it's something else. The spy thinks it's something else, and it is what it is at the end. Anomaly. How much time is left? At 17. It's almost time. Let's just go to bed. in my head. I need to know more. Let's find that antenna on the village beach. I'm sorry, but for this. Okay, I'm not gonna pick this up. Your next objective. Alright, did you find anything? Alright, find uh okay, spies. A spy in the spy step. Find the antenna at the beach. At time collect audio journal in the recorder. Visit the attic. Who's okay? Lighthouse. All right. Not really much there too. Oh, the tape recorder. This tape recorder is helpful during late nights. Don't judge me, Pierre. It's my only way to hear a human voice now. All right. Nice. I project. My protected home is... Oh, 
You got new tapes? Oh, nice. Let's listen to this first. I'm sure it's this giant blue rug under the house that must be responsible for our bubble that protects and keeps monsters away from our home. The crate of rocks came with a bunch of analysis papers that probably had to be shipped with the set. I don't understand all this paperwork, but these rocks seem to have totally unexpected properties. I don't know if there is any connection between the monsters and this rock, and why it would have an effect on them and not me. I finished reading the documents Matthew Banks had left for his replacement. Who never came? Matthew apparently needed to join the lighthouse maintenance team to gain access to the Rorqual cell. To achieve this, he was forced to make a deal. The sect could help him get hired quickly, but in exchange, Matthew would have to pass on the information obtained once there. He didn't know why the cult was interested in all this, but he needed them, so he agreed in order to continue his investigation. Matthew knew that the Rorqual cell used a specific radio frequency to communicate with the outside. Just before his departure, he discovered that the cell could no longer connect to this very frequency. The radio worked well, but the signal of this wave was scrambled, which prevented transmissions. It looked like sabotage, but who was behind it all? A member of the lighthouse team? Another spy? Only one thing was clear to him. If someone had wanted to disturb the signal, he would have gone through the big antenna of St. Exel. I have already spotted it in the past. It is on the keys towards the beach. I just have to go there. Okay, we are going to the beach then. Anything else? Oh, spy. Okay. Listen first. I think I've listened to that, right? If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the office to yeah, no, wait. continue my um, investigation. Yeah, no, I have listened to this. Alright. Let's go. I'm done. We are going to the beach next. I think I need to explore the map first. I'm ready to take a picture. That doesn't tell me shit. Okay. No, it seriously doesn't tell me shit. Alright. What? No. God damn it. Please, the circuit breaker. Ah, good. Alright, so. Blue one. Then the black one, white, yellow. <gasps> I'm genius! I did it! Let's go! Where are we going though? Where is this? Where am I? <laughs> Long time no see, Bossos Park. Okay, I'm in a park. Alright, a reindeer. Something else, a bench. Oh, it's a cult symbol. Ooh, what is it? Park mausoleums were not spared by the cult either. They are a real scourge for this village. Oh, hell they are. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, the mushroom.
Let's take a walk. Just you and me. <laughs> yeah, she's done. Thanks. Oh, fucking you. Oh, I gotta keep uh, the mouse on them to fight them. All right. I could not finish fixing this fence because the damn bird stole my van's key, where all my tools are. I've been trying to get them back, but it's nested high up, and I can't seem to attract it. If you manage to get my keys back, please call me at the number written on my truck, Mr. Levin. Ooh, where? I'm going to need something to break those. So there's a nest. Who are this? I feel that the wind turbine is going to need a little help from me to launch. Uh, so are you going to climb up there? Amongst birds living in the park, you will find the Corvus Picatrix. I know you, you little flying thief. They keep their precious loot inside their beak, which makes it really hard to get back. To prevent such situations, scarecrows were installed by local farmers. Okay, scarecrow, eh? Okay? I mean, I have the mushroom, which is interested in seagull, coastal birds, I guess. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. I did it! <laughs> nice! Alright, I got the George. That will teach you to look at me sideways. What? <laughs> Just throw the thing on the ground? I don't think I can get used to it. What the hell are you talking about? I'm confused, what did I just do? What did I do? Oh, another one. Only one destination for me. My bag. Beach access and renovation. Okay. I am the repairman in charge of fixing this gate. I've found a way to supply current to this unpredictable electrical panel. I've linked it to one of the small wind generators we have in the village. Okay. As long as there is wind, there will be current. Only issue is that while I was fixing it, one of those freaking birds stole the key from my van. Mm. If you find them, please bring them to my office. Mr. Levens. Mr. Levens, you pathetic fool. Alright, I can do that. Alright, I can see that blue, black, white, yellow. But the problem is... The search for breaker is inside something else. So I think he's expecting me to fix the ladder first. Minus one. Is this what I'm doing? I'm just breaking down scarecrows? Take that! Brody should feel free to leave its nest now. Alright. Brody, it's between you and me now. Why are you doing it? Amongst birds living in the keep see, up to prevent such there. situations, scarecrows were installed by local farmers. 
So how do I do this? Though? Hold on, where is the net? Amongst birds living in the park, he, they keep their to prevent such situations. Scarecrows were installed by local farmers. Oh. Did I shoot at it? Can I shoot at it? Can I shoot the cat? Oh, wait. Does that help? Sweet. It was enough to start the turbine. Oh, it did that. Never mind. Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. Well, you have something. Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. Is that attracted? Do you get attracted by that? Huh? It's nest. Oh, it does work. But now what? Hey, take the mushroom, you dumb crow. I will shoot you though, if you don't get out. There. We told you stealing was bad. Now, I only need to find the truck. Alright. Uh, mushrooms are uh, truck keys. I have the truck keys now. Ah, yes. Probably not an organized accident. Oh, nice! I got another act. Oh, Miss Bonnet's message. What's else inside, though? A light, a hammer. I can take a hammer. I can make use of that. How much time? Recording. Okay, any email let's listen to the tape. Where is it? Found tape. Hello, Mr. Levant. I am calling you because I have, again, a problem with the digital code that you installed last year. As I can't see very well at night, I asked you to make each key sound different. But for a few days when I entered the code you gave me, two keys no longer make noise. Listen! Could you contact me when you get my message? This is becoming a real problem for me. Alright, I gotta listen to this tape a couple of times now. Because I'm pretty sure that's the clue. So it's two keys that make that sound, and then it's the two keys that don't make the sound. Uh. Stay on the floor. Alright, I'm done. Uh, what's the time? Probably not. Something I need to check. White, yellow. Blue, black, white, yellow. It's 220. Alright, let's go. The beach. The beach. Here we go. Oh, one scrap. Is that accessible? That's interesting. Why are we climbing over that? Is there something I missed? Oh. Oh? But why would we want to do that? What's the time? Oh, there's enough time. Let's go. Alright, let's see. I think I found the antenna. Oh, that's the antenna. That's not on the beach. Or what is it? I don't know. Flares. Nice. I don't have a flare gun. Oh, uh, 
I'll eject the garbage can. <laughs> Nothing. What do you say? Behind. Boisseau's Park. Okay. Left. Ahead. Restaurant Panier à Crab. Alright. This is the beach. Probably seems like I'm gonna fight something over there. Oh yeah, probably wanna save the game. Saving the game. Nice, let's go. I still have low health though. Oh, the crank. Oh, it's gonna be loud. Ah, yeah, it's loud. Can I take out the crank out? The keys were a place of the particularly intense fishing that supplied the region. Following the drop in activity, this fishing port was converted into a simple marina. It is always possible at low tide to find fishing traps with shellfish in them. Hmm, what is a marina? Oh, sorry. Okay, there's a whole other world up there. Since I'm gonna run back soon, because the time is running out, I wanna uh, complete whatever we have to do as uh, quickly as possible, so I can run back. This gas pump is probably older than me. Afraid of no boat anymore, are you? Eh. What the hell, man? You are the one I'm looking for. A cog? Why are we looking cogs? Another flare. Nice. Boat has nothing. Whoa, what the hell is wrong with my keyboard? What the hell is going on? Why is my game lagging? Oh, now it's fine. Now it's lagging again. I'm gonna die. Oh, what the hell was that? Everything froze for a minute. It doesn't usually do that. Okay, I'm low on health, like really low on health. No storm will be able to bring down such an antenna. Oh, that. Oh, what prank? Too professionally closed, the way I like them. I got a level. What if I remove the circuit breaker? I was gonna close the antenna. Um, what can I drop? Uh. Oh, it's snowing? <gasps> it's snowing. We have all the resin all over again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What's the explanation? And what happens if we do a thunderstorm again? Whoa. Hold on. There's a submarine that was not here before. Hold on, we have not we have altered the time, haven't we? All right. I'll turn into an ice block if I stay like that. Okay, what's the time? Yeah, no, we have to go. Yeah, no, we have to go out fast. We'll explore everything later. We have to run. It's like we instantly changed the season. 
but not for the better. Also, since I have some time on me, I will rest. I really need to get back home. Yeah, no, I know, but listen. Okay, I hopefully I don't encounter anyone. seen St. Exo under this amount of snow. Well, it's not I natural. It at least, that's good. Not natural. Come on, go down. Closer to the home, we are. We'll keep you alive, Elise. Don't worry. What about the laundry? <laughs> Am I gonna okay. ever gonna take this off? I'm not going to use this towel right away. But come on, take it off. Ooh. I left my clothes in one of the cabinets in the hall. Is this the hall? Oh, it's okay. That's this one. All right, one snow clothes. Where do I have that? Ma'am, are you gonna use your clothes? Alright. So what now? How do we go in the attic? It said the attic was unlocked now. Oh, that's the bathroom. It's good to keep some dear toothpaste. You are breathtaking. I could use a good shower when this feeling of being observed will stop. I mean, uh, is she talking about us? Oh, this is the attic. What the hell is that switch? So this is the attic we were so talkative about. It. It looks like some of Pierre's. I thought it was lost. I love that music. Ooh. My lava lamp. Pierre probably. Poor guy never understood anything about home decor. This suit. I was in the attic with him when everybody disappeared. Ooh. I remember wearing it, but we just had one. Hold on, then what took you all of it? I use laser. Okay. So where's the game? Nothing. Okay. Is that all? Is that other than that? Can we throw something else that way? I mean... I'll get more. Some French music is good. Use a razor. Better not make too many mistakes. Alright, this game is giving me too much garbage, not gonna lie. I still don't know how to craft ammunition. That all? Oh, there's a shed something. Alright, I got more scraps. What's the time? Stay tuned. Almost time to go to sleep. Not the right place. I mean, that's a weird way to sleep, but okay.